Hello guys! This is Train Lover 16. A couple of days ago, I reached 700 subscribers, and I cannot thank you all enough for this milestone. For my 700 subscriber special, I am going to be showing you all my entire VHS collection. So not just all the ones that I've done in my VHS reviews, it also includes all the films I have on VHS, and all of the, um, and all of the VHSs I can't review due, due to major copyright issues po that may be possible. So yeah, guys, thanks again for 700 subscribers, and without further ado, let us begin. So I will place my iPad on the floor, I'm recording this on my iPad. Place this on the floor for a minute. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, let's start with the first VHS. The first couple of VHSs are my most recent ones. So, oh, hang on. Yeah, I'll have to lift my iPad up to show you. So the first one I have is Pingu Barrel of Fun. This one I got recently, and this will be the VHS review that I'll do very soon. Yeah, Pingu's an amazing show. This will be my next VHS. This will be the VHS review that I'll do after this next one. Balamori, what's the story, Miss Hooley? That this will be my next VHS review. The tape isn't actually in the case at the moment. At the moment, it's in my VHS player. So, because I'm watching it through and and thinking, so I can get a feel for how for what I'm going to comment on it, and also to check that the tape itself is actually all fine. So yeah, that's the. So yeah, that's what's the story, Miss Hooley. Now let's get into some of the films. Some of these my my granddad already had when he gave me my v this VHS player. So here we have a, a double length feature of two well well known World War Two films, Battle of Britain and Six Three Three Squadron. That's never actually seen either of these films, but might watch this VHS one day. This just happened to be with my VHS player, um, with my granddad's VHS collection when he gave me the VHS player. Okay, the next one I have is Batman Forever. This is the only Batman film I've seen in its entirety. I can't quite remember what happens. This isn't too well known. This isn't very critically acclaimed, not a very critically acclaimed Batman film, but I've watched it. Can't remember what happens, but it was good enough for me. This one stars Val Kilmer as Batman. And this is the only Batman film I've got on VHS, and the only one... And the only one Batman film I've watched in its entirety. Not a massive Batman fan, but I've still watched this one, so yeah. Now... I've also got six James Bond films on VHS. I've got the first four Sean Connery films, as well as The Man with the Golden Gun and Moonraker. So I'll just show you all this now, them all now. So here's Goldfinger, one of the um, more, one of the more well-known Bond films. I, I personally don't, uh, I personally feel that this film's a bit overrated, but I still think it's good. Still very good. Sean Connery, rest in peace, is brilliant. And I still plan to do my, my top 10 James Bond films list. Okay. Next one I have is Thunderball. Another Sean Connery one. Not a massive fan of this one. It's quite, gen it's, it's quite a generic nuclear weapon theft story. Don't remember too much of what happens in this, so... Yeah, honestly, a bit forgettable, but... Still enjoyed it. From Russia With Love. Very good Bond film. Really enjoyed watching this one. Ah! Man With The Golden Gun. I really do not like this one. It's very boring. This is I think this has got to be my least favorite Bond film. 
it's very boring, this one. But Roger Moore is still good as Bond. Ah, Doctor No, where it all started. Very, very good film. Enjoyed watching it when I saw it for the first time. Ah, Moonraker. Now, this isn't held in a very high regard in the James Bond fandom, but I really, really, really like Moonraker. The, I commend this film for being the film that got me into James Bond. This is, this is such an underrated Bond film. Guys, if you haven't seen Moonraker, please do. It's so underrated. Okay, that's all of my James Bond films. I might get more on VHS in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, these two also came with my granddad. Two Only Fools and Horses VHSs. Not a ma VHSs. Not a massive fan of this show, and these tapes are quite dirty, so I don't plan to watch either of these anytime soon. Just put them over here. Ah! Apollo 13, my favourite space film of all time. Incredible film, this. Great acting from Tom Hanks, Bill Pax, from all five of its major stars. It used... The pr and it has a great combination of practical effects and CGI. And James Honor's music score is amazing. Guys, if you haven't seen Apollo 13, please do. I absolutely love this film. It's now my favourite space film of all time. Postman Pat's new video. You might remember though I reviewed this. Back in October. Not the best Postman Pat VHS, but still... Actually, it is actually very good. It's got two of my... It's got two um, great posts from Pat Specials on it. Actually, it is pretty good, yeah. Zulu. Don't know too much about this film. I know that... But I do... All I know is that the main song is called Men of Harlech. Yeah, I haven't seen... The, yeah, I haven't seen this film, but... Don't know too much about it, and... Might watch it one day, I might not. We'll just wait and see. Ah, you you might remember that this was the first VHS review I did ever did. Thomas and Friends Truckloads of Fun. This is such a good um, VHS, guys. So pleased that this was the first one I reviewed. Now then. Speed, amazing action film. Lots of great explosions and uh, lots of great explosions and um, great acting. Ah, oh, God, what did I want to say? Ah, oh, I've lost it. What I want to say now? Yeah, amazing action film and amazing music and explosions and acting. Yeah. Guys, if you haven't seen Speed, I definitely recommend it. Battleships at War. Haven't seen this one, but this looks like a documentary. Haven't watched this one. Yeah. Brum and the Airport Adventure. I did review this one. Great, um, great VHS, guys. Brum's such a good show. The Dam Busters. One of the most iconic war films ever. Docudramas. Only seen part of this film. Wasn't a... Well, yeah, I wasn't a mass... Not a massive fan of this, but I know this film's very iconic. Rubber Dubber Splish Splash Blosh. I very recently reviewed this. You might remember, guys. And remember, this was a very highly anticipated VHS review. Very good stuff. Blackadder. Very funny sitcom. Haven't really watched this VHS, but it's a very funny sitcom starring Rowan Atkinson. 
might watch this one day, but I've heard it's very funny. Mm hmm. Excellent. Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. 1993 film. And one of the first major Hollywood productions to use computer generated imagery, slash, also known as CGI. Very good film. Haven't actually watched this VHS, but I've seen the film itself and it's amazing. Very iconic. Very iconic stuff. Great music. Great visuals. Lovely stuff. Postman Pat's big surprise. This was one of. This was the fourth VHS review I did. It's a ve It's a very good VHS, guys. I, I enjoyed reviewing this as much as I did the other Post and Pat one I did. So yeah, guys, definitely get that in your collection. Groundhog Day. Very, very nice film. Not the best film I've ever watched, but still a very nice film starring Bill Murray. Great stuff. This next, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine 1. This was the 20th VHS review I did last March. Great. Really, really enjoyed reviewing this one. Do get this VHS review and add it to your... Do get this VHS, add it to your collection. Oh my god. Blade Runner. Haven't finished watching this film yet, but what I have seen of it, it is so amazing. Incredibly atmospheric film. The production design and music in this film is incredible, and Harrison Ford does a great job at does a great job at portraying the main character. Don't know what it, don't, can't remember his name, but it's still very good. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that shot of my arm. Just my hand's starting to get tired now, so I was just resting it. Oh my god, it's gonna topple over. Oh, never mind. Oh, one of my huskies is squashed under it. Yeah. <sighs> Forrest Gump. Absolutely incredible film seen this film twice now once at my old school and once on this vhs absolutely amazing film tom hanks tom hanks does it does an amazing job of portraying forrest gump absolutely love this film Ah, the only double VHS in my collection. The only VHS with two tapes inside. Bob the Builder, The Great Race. This is the longest one I've done in my VHS review series so far. And I think it's... Actually, this might be my favourite VHS review I've done so far. Re yeah, really enjoyed this one. Top Gun. Quite an underrated film. Love Tom Cruise's portrayal and Kelly McGillis and Val Kilmer and all the other actors. They do a great job in this film. I've only seen this film once and partially and only partially on this VHS. I gotta watch it again. In fact I'm planning to see Top Gun Maverick, the sequel, this November. Yeah, this is such a great film, directed by Tony Scott, rest in peace. Very good film. World's Fastest Trains documentary, my most recent VHS review. Very, very, very good stuff. Very interesting documentary. Sooty and Co, World of Fun and Clocks Galore. Again, short but sweet. This is a suck, this is a very, yeah, very good VHS. Pingu 2 Building Igloos. Again, an, a, a very, very, very good VHS. Very best of Fireman Sam. Really enjoyed reviewing this one. 
great VHS. Lovely. Lovely VHS. This is the first Bob the Builder one I did. Trailer Travis and Other Stories. It was, yeah, very amazing VHS. Really enjoyed reviewing that one. New Adventures of Thomas the Tank Engine. Revi I enjoyed reviewing this one as much as I did the other two Thomas VHSs. Very good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. It's the God, they all fell over. Hang on, guys. Sorry, let me clear these up. Oh, oh my knee. Oh. Let me put these all up. Sorry, guys. Just got to pick these back up. Ow. Oh, my knee. These two, put them up here. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. Oh, my knee. Kept of the Ghost and Other Stories. Didn't enjoy reviewing this one as much as I thought I would. I, mean, I doubt I'll do another Kipper VHS review. But yeah, Kipper is still a very good show. Budgie the Little Helicopter. Didn't enjoy this VHS review as much as I thought I would. Yeah, don't get this VHS unless you're a massive Budgie the Little Helicopter fan. Noddy and the Naughty Tail. Not, not as good VHS as the others I reviewed, but... Yeah, still get this if you're a Noddy fan. Uh, Pingu the Photographer. This was the second VHS review I did. Very, very good VHS, guys. Definitely get it, if you, especially if you're a Pingu fan. Thunderbirds to the Rescue. This is the second favourite VHS review I've done. And this is the only one that, that has been copyright claimed and taken down in my country, sadly. But still a very... It's still a very, very amazing VHS. Definitely get this. Especially if you're a Jerry Anderson fan. Tugs. Trapped Ghosts and High Winds. Very good VHS, though not the best Hugs VHS in my opinion, despite the fact that this is the only one I have. Oh, Wurzel Gummidge. This has got to be my least favourite VHS review I've done, not only because I did it around the time when the pandemic started and, that may and I was going through very bad mental health problems at the time, but... This also had god awful picture quality, and I ha and I hardly had anything to say about this one. So yeah, Worlds of Gummage is a is a great show, but this was my least favorite VHS review, and I doubt I'll do another Worlds of Gummage VHS review. Jimbo and the Jet Set Royal Visitors, not the best Jimbo VHS, but I still really enjoyed reviewing this. Very very good VHS review. Ah, oh, now these three are the most recent additions to my VHS collection that aren't, um, that, that I'm not going to review because of copyright issues. The Austin Powers Trilogy. International Man of Mystery, Spy Who Shagged Me, and Gold Member. I watched all three of these films between September and January of last year. And oh my god, these three are hilarious films. I rewatched International Man of Mystery recently, currently in the process of rewatching Spy Who Shagged Me, and I plan to rewatch Gold Member soon. Very, very, very funny films. Please do watch them. Highly recommend watching them. East Coast Mainline Documentary, this was the third one I reviewed, and the first documentary I reviewed, and so far are the only two documentaries I've reviewed so far. Very good VHS, very interesting. Definitely get this if, you, um, if you're interested in railway history, as I am. Oh, God. 
And last, but by no means least, the last VHS in my collection is E.T. Amazing sci-fi film, amazing Steven Spielberg film. Absolutely love this film. First watched it in January 2020. Absolutely loved it, though this VHS, unfortunately, is quite dirty and awful. And since then, I haven't I haven't watched it since I tried to watch this recently. But E.T. itself is an absolutely amazing film. So definitely get this on VHS if you plan to. Absolutely amazing music score from John Williams. Amazing animatronic and practical effects. Definitely, definitely watch this if you plan to soon. And if you're planning on getting it on VHS, which I highly recommend, please try and get one that's actually of high quality. Yeah. And that's about it, guys. My entire VHS collection. I know it's a bit messy now. But I didn't plan for it to be this messy at the end. I didn't realise it would all fall over. Sorry, guy. Sorry about that, guys. But, yeah... That is my entire VHS collection. This, VH this video turned out to be slightly longer than I thought it would be. But that doesn't matter, though. I'm going to put these all of these VHSs back soon. Now that, this, now that this video is done. And, yeah, look forward to my Balamorian Pingu VHSs. And all of my future VHS reviews that are coming soon. And... And I will definitely get some more films and other things that I won't be able to review on VHS. I have, pla I have plans to get some Monty Python films, possibly some other action, sci-fi and disaster films. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, guys, I'm happy with my collection so far. And it's going to get even bigger within the next couple of years. VHS ones I'm going to review and ones I'm not going to review. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for 700 subscribers. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to me, Train Lover 16 if you haven't already. Thanks again for, se for 700 subscribers, and thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all found this video interesting. Hope you all enjoyed watching it, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye, everyone!